Hello and welcome everyone to Quick Album Reviews. I'm the X Access because X is better than Y, CJ Metal, and today I'm plotting a line to The Inalienable Dreamless by Discordant Access. Released in the same so far year of 2000, this grindcore album is, I guess, considered by some to be the gr best grindcore album ever, or at least one of the best, whatever. With such claims, this album must be groundbreaking and top notch, yeah? Well, let's see. Right off the bat, we get some uh, good, uh, clean production. So everything's heard equally, so that's always a good thing. So uh, we're off go to a good start. But then you hear the riffs, and, uh, well, they're good, but they get a bit weird as the album progresses. They usually start off by following the same composition as the vocals, but then they kind of shift away to do their own thing. And uh, speaking about shifting away, I hope you like tempo and time changes, because I swear this album is part mathcore or... Maybe it's following its punk sub genre roots, or I don't know. I kept getting getting these uh, the Dillinger Escape Plan vibes and Hummingbird of Death vibes too. The constant shifting of the composition really threw me into a loop, kind of like those two bands kind of did. And I will admit it was kind of difficult to keep track of where and what I'm supposed to be paying attention to. However, I was very impressed with the band's ability to keep shifting things around while maintaining the same speed and brutality throughout the album. I may have had trouble following it, but the band definitely did not have any issues following it. So I mentioned the vocals before, but I really want to go back to them and point this out. This album's about, I want to say about 90% high-pitched screaming and about 10% growls. So this may be more of a personal preference, but I prefer growls, or at least majority growl, over screams, or at least something closer to 50-50. I am just not a huge fan of high-pitched screaming. Like I said, personal preference, I mean, if you love it, then you're going to like this album, but for me, I don't know, high the high-pitched screams just get a bit annoying as the album continues, because like I said, it's 90%. Or something like that and uh, I think they just go a bit overboard on the high pitch but like I said you like it then you like it so overall it's a definitely a different take on the grindcore genre it still maintains its blast beat ear-shattering 20-minute brutality of grindcore that we all love but with a bit of a twist now I can't deny this may be a difficult album to follow especially for me but at the same time I also found it rather enjoyable and different I know I make it sound like it seems not to be so good, but it has its moments of glory and it definitely gave me something original and different to listen to. And for those reasons, this album's going to get an 8.5 out of 10. I don't think it's one of the best grindcore albums ever, or even particularly one of the best, but I do think it was pretty good and the band definitely deserves some credit for being able to make this beast of an album because it's like I said just I don't know how the band did it honestly and uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there all right everyone hope you're all having a great day don't forget to like and subscribe make sure you tell a friend to like and subscribe as well have a good Sunday and I'll see you all next week